actually going to be a how I edit and film my videos, and I'm not gonna lie, I get requests to do this like non-stop. Also, I just need to apologize for my lack of consistency because I don't know if anyone noticed, but I haven't uploaded in like a month. <laughs> But definitely give this video a thumbs up if you were excited to see it because I've worked so hard and I cannot wait for y'all to watch it. And definitely don't forget to hit the bell on the subscribe button. Is it this way or this way? It always flips. So without further talking, let's just go ahead and get cracking. Are you come up with a video idea I'll write out all the information I need to know like if I need any supplies for a DIY and I'll always go into a lot of detail of all the different shots and angles I want to take this just overall saves a lot of time and after that I'll sometimes research the video to get some inspiration and I'll also do this to see if my video idea is more popular or if it's on the original side <laughs> equipment the main question I get asked all the time is what kind of camera I use and it is the Canon 70D I totally recommend this because its autofocus is amazing and it also has a pop-out screen for the lens I use the 50 millimeter 1.4 and if you didn't know a lens is what gets you a blurry background not the camera body so that is why I absolutely love the 1.4 aperture now for my main tripod I just use this one and it is pretty basic for the next tripod that I use, it is actually called a monopod. I honestly just got it at Target for like 15 bucks. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is so helpful if y'all are doing a ton of action shots and you just need a little bit more stabilization, but you don't really want to carry around a huge tripod. Moving on to filming, I always like for everything to be really bright and crisp, so I will just open up all my windows and set up my lighting. If you are at the point where you want to take your videos to the next level, I would definitely invest in a couple softbox lights. I use the Limo Studio Lighting and they have definitely made a big difference in my videos. They are really inexpensive, like 40 bucks, and they give off a really bright, natural light. My biggest goal when filming a video is to have a ton of different angles. I feel like it makes things a lot more entertaining and like you actually spent time producing a video and also it just gives you a variety of clips to choose on later on when you're editing. When filming a video, I always like to add a ton of different color and soft lighting in the background. And here are just a few examples of how I do this. I do all this on a MacBook and I recently upgraded to Final Cut Pro. Over the course of a few days, I will edit a few hours every day, but I will just do pretty basic editing like drag in all my clips and cut out all the unnecessary footage. As I go along, I will do color corrections. So for this, you will just want to click the wand tool and hit show color board. I always like to start off with the exposure. I will bring the midtones down really low and then next I will make sure to turn the highlights up to define my clip more. Moving on to saturation, my clip was already kind of saturated, so I only brought the global up a little. Lastly, going over to the color section, I will always drag the midtones up into the blue section to cancel out any red or yellow hues. This is what it should look like before and after, and as you can see, the color correction is pretty important and it does make a huge difference. <laughs> Moving on, I always make sure to stabilize my clips and it is pretty simple to do. You just want to hit the stabilize button and what I feel like a lot of people don't tell you to do is you want to change the automatic to inertia cam. As you can see, this really is a game changer. I would totally recommend to get an editing system that comes with a good stabilizer. Now, I am very aware that a lot of YouTubers make editing out to be really fast and easy, but in reality, it can get like a battle zone out there real fast. I mean, after like 12, maybe even 25 hours, you start hyperventilating, maybe even getting your threats from typing so much. It's like an emotional roller coaster out there, man. And then you find another problem and it takes like three hours trying to fix it all day. video I do actually get a lot of questions about my titles and transitions and these are actually plugins you can buy from pixelfilmstudios.com I know a lot of other youtubers use these as well I recently purchased the trans pack volume 1 along with the pro intro basics and I love them 
that is all to say for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you can relate to that editing part because it is so true. It is so true. Oh my goodness. I'm getting all dramatic. Whoa. And I will see you guys in my next time.